Hello, my name is Anna Basile Giulio, and I am honored to be a candidate for Secretary Treasurer for our American Academy of Periodontology. I truly appreciate the opportunity to share a little bit about myself and my candidacy with you today. I am a diplomate of the American Board of Periodontology, and like many of you, I am a full-time clinician, having been in private practice for the past 30 years in New York City with my husband, a prosthodontist, in a collaborative partnership. As an educator, I have served as a clinical associate professor for 27 years in the postgraduate department of periodontics and implant dentistry at New York University College of Dentistry, where I received my graduate and postgraduate training. I have had the privilege of contributing to our academy and profession in numerous ways. Currently in my fifth year as trustee for District 7, I have served on crucial committees and task forces, including finance, audit, strategic planning, and the task force to evaluate pre-doctoral periodontal education. In addition, I was honored to have been elected by my fellow trustees to the executive committee. My service at the regional level includes as past president and board member of the Northeastern Society of Periodontists, where I currently serve on their strategic planning committee and am co-chair of the doctors Paul Tannenbaum and Robert Shore Memorial School competition, which engages periodontal postgraduate residents. I am running for this position because I am passionate about periodontics and grateful for all the opportunities that it has afforded me. However, this is not the same specialty that welcomed me 30 years ago. As clinicians, we are facing a multitude of challenges. Practice models have changed. Referrals are declining along with our role in dental education. Third-party payers are attempting to dictate treatment. And on a daily basis, we deal with the reality that patients are not referred to us in a timely manner. For most of us, daily practice involves dealing with the blurring of lines with other specialties, the weekend trained super dentists, and patients who suffered tooth loss because they were not referred to, to, referred to us soon enough for treatment. For these reasons, I wish to serve to strengthen our specialty and promote patient health and quality of life. My experience as a clinician, an educator, and my service in organized dentistry has prepared me to move our profession and the mission of our academy forward. As an officer, my emphasis would be to ensure that our academy focuses on the issues which are pertinent to all of us and affect data-driven decisions to address the changing landscape. As secretary treasurer, my primary goal would be to promote member success by focusing on three main areas, advocacy, multidisciplinary care, and science. Political advocacy at all levels is critical. The academy must continue to engage in leadership development so that periodontists are positioned at the local, state, and national level to promote and to protect our interests. In turn, regional leaders must report back to the AAP to update us about local challenges so that the academy can support our members. We also need advocacy through awareness campaigns to educate the public about who we are and what we do. However, an expansive national campaign may not be a fiscal reality, and so we may need to be novel in our marketing approach. By giving our members the necessary tools, they can create custom campaigns that will generate the greatest impact in their own communities. An exciting example of this is the Dental Hygiene Engagement Initiative, which begins this year. We must cultivate symbiotic relationships with other specialty groups such as prosthodontics, orthodontics, and endodontics through, or through joint meetings. By sharing contemporary information, highlighting our expertise and unique skill set, we position the periodontist as the leader in multidisciplinary patient care. Let us not forget that as periodontists, we establish a healthy periodontium prior to proceeding with the remaining dental treatment. We coordinate care, we monitor during therapy, and at the completion of treatment, we maintain periodontal, oral, and overall health. And this segues to my last area of focus. As the daughter of a physician, the periodontal systemic connection and the significance on public health is a priority for me. 
the AAP must continue to drive the science behind the periodontal systemic link via a three-pronged approach. First, we partner with our medical colleagues by utilizing the ample data that we already have to collaborate on a position paper that addresses the links between periodontal disease and systemic inflammatory disease. Secondly, we create a platform that assures that periodontists are at the podium for national medical symposiums. And third, we produce turnkey educational materials that you can use for presentations at the local level to your dental and medical community and dental hygiene programs. As an educator, I have had a front row seat to the struggles that our new periodontists face. Recent graduates deal with enormous financial challenges, changing practice models, and declining referrals. Recruitment of new graduates and retention of younger members is contingent on them perceiving value from the financial commitment of membership. We must be cognizant that their needs and expectations will differ from those who are established in their practices or nearing retirement. Engagement with younger members and their utilization of social media will also contrast with more seasoned members. As an academy, we provide the professional home for all periodontists. We serve as the primary source of periodontal health information and advance the science and practice of periodontology and implant dentistry. But is this enough to attract our younger members? The annual meeting is an enormous member value, but it may not be fiscally feasible for recent graduates to attend. We need to be more accommodating to allow for digital attendance so that our younger members can participate remotely. The Academy must provide member-focused services that address the changing demographics and practice models and types of treatments that present-day periodontists offer. Member recruitment and retention is also dependent on how successful we are with public awareness. To attract graduates early in their career, we must do a better job of promoting our specialty, expertise, and the correlation of periodontal health and overall health. Our academy must make investments in campaigns that highlight consumer perception of the role of the periodontist and educate about periodontal disease while endorsing periodontists as the dental professional of choice in the treatment of periodontal disease and dental implant therapy. In August of last year, the AAP Board of Trustees unanimously voted to adopt a new core value to embrace its diverse community of members and foster a culture of inclusion, respect, and dignity. As a Cuban American, I applaud the evolving composition of our board, which gradually is more accurately representing the diversity of our members. When younger members see trustees and officers who resemble them, they feel a greater sense of belonging and support from our organization. By creating a diverse board, we expand the knowledge, experience and insight that goes into decision-making. My vision for the future of our academy encompasses developing strategies to tackle the challenges that periodontists face today and increase opportunities to our members to enhance and expand their role in the dental community. Science is our foundation and we must continue to drive emerging science and technologies to effectively translate into clinical practice while advocating for our members. Our diagnostic capabilities, soft tissue management, regenerative therapies, and expertise in the aesthetic zone are second to none. We must expand our scope of practice to position ourselves as the leaders and experts in periodontal plastic surgery. We are skilled experts in periodontal treatment with an arsenal of tools to save teeth. And when that is not possible, we are leaders in implant dentistry. While implants are an excellent treatment modality, peri-implantitis is also a reality. Recently, orthopedics created fellowships and revision surgery for removal of the pre previous prosthesis used in joint replacement. As an academy, we too must drive the science to establish periodontists as the experts in the treatment of peri-implantitis to reconstruct soft and hard tissues. I envision our partnership with the medical community to continue expanding. We must work together to provide integrated periodontal, medical, and behavioral health care. Collaboration among physicians, 
periodontists, and dental hygienists is critical, and the systemic health needs of the patient should be incorporated into each appointment. Will we be able to use the presence of periodontal pathogens as diagnostic markers to predict susceptibility to non-oral disease? Are there potential biomarkers in the interplay between periodontal disease and diabetes, autoimmune disease, or cardiovascular disease? As an academy, we must promote interdisciplinary research in periodontal and systemic disease and take a primary role in the management and care of our patients. In closing, I am grateful for the opportunity to share my vision for the future of our academy with you. Accomplishing these initiatives requires understanding, commitment, and leadership. My experience as a clinician, educator, and in organized dentistry allow me to truly appreciate the obstacles that periodontists in all phases of their career face today. In partnership with my fellow officers and trustees and the outstanding AAP staff, I am prepared to tackle these challenges and work tirelessly for our members, our academy, and our specialty. I appreciate you listening, and I respectfully ask for your vote. Thank you.